What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Gary with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today because guys, what we're going to be doing today is telling you everything you need to know on how to play Demon Hunter as effectively as possible. So guys, as you probably already know, Demon Hunter is absolutely wild right now. And you want to get him as leveled up as possible. Some other things you might not know is that if you have the highest amount of Demon Hunters, right? Let's say you have a rank 3 just like I do. And then you have a rank 1 next to it. That rank 1 is going to be the old what that Demon Hunter used to look like. And really that rank 3 is the only one going to be doing something. But if you have both of them at rank 3, here's a perfect example right there. You can see that the rank 3 is doing work. The rank 1 is, is doing nothing. If that second one was also rank 3, which was still the highest merge rank, they both do increased damage. Something to note, okay? Something that's very, very important to know. So we're going to completely ignore that first, uh, that other demon hunter. Absolute level. Let's hit him with a good game. Sorry, bud. That other Demon Hunter, and we're just going to level up our first Demon Hunter as much as we can, alright? The screen's going away, let's come back in. They don't want us to play today, they're scared of what we we can do. But let's actually get a real game going, and, uh, and let's get right into that. Right. Holy smokes, I can't click on anything without it doing something that I don't want to do. PvP, please. Holy absolute hera. Guys, if you are enjoying this video, make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, like the video, and also share it with your friends. All right, we're going up against a mirror match. We're going to try and do the exact same thing. If at all possible, we want to make sure that we get a Demon Hunter on a square right there. And then we're going to completely focus on... Uh, scrappering everything in sight and getting that demon hunter as high as you can be because i've when i've been playing this i run into uh my thought process of me thinking i want more demon hunters it's not the case let's see if we can find a yeah this is so good already you don't need more than one demon hunter actually it's a hindrance if you have more than one demon hunter early on in the game because realistically, that one Demon Hunter, depending on how highly leveled it is, is going to be doing 90% of your damage, okay? So get one Demon Hunter, get it as ranked up as you absolutely can, and then start working towards having some other stuff on your board. I'm even going to just eat Dryads right now, because I, I don't want my Scrappering to uh, to hit a, a Dryad, and then I, you know, minimize my whatever... Let's just keep on going. We're getting a bunch of scrappers. This honestly isn't a bad thing, really. And uh, let's just find something that's not a scrapper. I said let's find something that's not a scrapper. And uh, and then we should be okay. So he's got a rank 4. But notice, he's already got... So we have a rank 5 now. He's already got two knight statues, a chemist. So that's three units. And yes, they're getting leveled up right now, which is absolutely great for him. I'm not worried about it. I want to get my Demon Hunter as high as it can in merge rank, and then I'll worry about figuring out my board and getting it next to a Knight Statue and doing all that fancy stuff. We only need one more, and we have it at a rank 6. Okay, it may take him a while to get his to a rank 6. It, it also may be like the very next time. It's possible. It's possible that that's the case. But as of right now, we have a rank 6. He has a rank 4. We're taking things out absolutely very, very quickly. And I think at this point, why don't we start trying to get some different things on our board? We got a chemist right here. That's not a bad place for a chemist, okay? If we get a knight statue right here or right there, we've got the chemist on the knight statue as well as the demon hunter. That's very, very nice. Another scrapper is kind of okay. I've also been rocking gadget recently because realistically... Trainer wasn't doing a whole lot for me, okay? Trainer was basically there to help me take out bosses. If you play this deck properly, 
you will not need help with bosses. You will be taking things out so quickly with your Demon Hunter that uh, you won't believe how fast it actually is. But okay, we're at a rank 6 Demon Hunter. We're starting to fill our board up little by little. Notice we've still got two spots open for possible knight statues now we've only got the one spot open okay so we've got one spot open for a knight statue one spot open for absolutely nothing there is a knight statue and uh yeah let's just uh i'm gonna go over here i'll do that why not uh and i'll do that as well and we can do this as well and i'm absolutely absolutely loving my board right now so we got that leveled up. I'm going to eat that guy who really cares. Uh, we can come over here also. I'm going to eat that guy who really cares. And now we're getting our chemist leveled up a little bit. We're going to do our uh, we're going to do our chemist also. Let's level up a couple of these things. But he's got a rank 5 right now. He we've got a rank 6 and we're still not worried about getting another demon hunter. So if we got a demon hunter right now on another knight statue, I might even eat it even now. Probably not. I'll probably hold off for right now. But I think we're in a fantastic spot. We've got another Dryad. I honestly start eating Dryads pretty quickly because I'm just not really worried about them. But look how good of shape we're in. We have one, two, three, four units. Oh, I leveled up my chemist. Didn't really mean to, but that's okay. Uh, four units and this Dryad. I guess it's five units. Um, to where I scrap her, I've got a one in four chance to ma max out my... Uh, max out my demon hunter so that right there is okay now we're back to the one in four chance i'm gonna come over here to open up a spot on a knight statue for a possible demon hunter now i think we're just gonna eat dryads okay we're worried about that one in four chance and uh and we really really don't care about having more than one demon t demon hunter until like a little bit later in the game because that one demon hunter that we do get and right there that's an absolutely beautiful thing to behold right there uh that one demon hunter is gonna do the majority of our damage all throughout this game it's not going to even change i think we already have this game in the bag and if we can start working on a second demon hunter somewhere that could be great but right now i'm not too worried about it oh i tried to hit my gadget it didn't let me hit my gadget let's just keep on going we do have two um scrappers that are kind of in the way but not the end of the world. So let's try and not hit this Demon Hunter anymore. Let's get that Chemist up. Let's get that Knight Statue up. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Here's Warlock. We should immediately take that out. Look how quickly that is. And because we took that out so fast and so convincingly, let's actually just max out all of our cards, guys. Uh, I've been having so much fun playing Demon Hunter. And it did take me a little while to figure it out, like I said. Because... I really wanted to have like two or three, even four Demon Hunters all on Knight Statues. My board looked really, really beautiful. At the end of the day, it just wasn't winning. I wasn't winning because it doesn't matter how many Demon Hunters you have. If your highest Demon Hunter is not comparable to your opponent's highest Demon Hunter. Does that make sense? Um, so that's why we're doing it. Okay, finally we got one right there. We're going to do this, we're going to do this, and we're going to do that. And now we can start working on that guy also. Rank 5 Chemist I absolutely love. We're going to max that guy out right there. And, uh, and you can see that we're just outputting damage like nobody else. Maybe I'll even keep that Dryad just in case I want to level this guy up. But this guy right here, he is not going to be useful until he is also the same rank as this guy which i don't anticipate that being anytime soon okay so that's why i'm really not worried uh, about getting a second demon hunter because he's not going to be useful for so much of this game so let's just keep on continuing here we got a little spot right there a little knight statue level up right there is absolutely fine and uh and let's keep on going we got this we got that guy to three now if we can get him a couple more times that would be awesome i'm just going to do that two merges we don't need that guy and you can see he's starting to fall off a little bit here we got another demon hunter right there it's kind of the perfect spot so i guess i'll just keep him just for the sake of it and if this game goes super super long maybe those two demon hunters will come into play but i mean you tell me i think that worked out pretty well with just the one demon hunter but to be fair he only went with the one demon hunter as well we do outdo him in crit as well as card levels we could just absolutely ignore that collect a couple of these things that it wanted me to collect a million different times let's see if this um 
I'm clicking on it. Holy smokes, this game does not want to play right now. There's the... Anybody else having this mining operations that's just popping up every three seconds whenever I try, go back, try to go back to the home screen? Let's jump into another game here. And, uh, and guys, if you want to catch me live, I do live stream. We live stream uh, exclusively on Twitch on Fridays as well as Sundays. Fridays at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and Sundays at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'd absolutely love to have you guys come by. This guy is running Shaman. And I've actually been going up against a decent amount of Shaman decks. And they're really, really difficult to play against. I had one that absolutely smoked me, man. So now we're going to have to try and play a little bit differently here. Because when those Shamans come down, uh, we're going to have to try and combine out at least a little bit so let's try and keep on filling our board uh if it hits my scrapper i'll just try and combine out a little bit but i already hate this i think i uh hate shaman now in today's demon hunter meta than almost ever before because i want so badly to work on these different things and try out these different modes and i'm not able to do so with these people shamaning me and i think people kind of figured that out and uh and that's the reason that they're doing it but we got bedlam first which isn't good for us it isn't good for him um he's trying to get a demon hunter up i guess i don't really know what what he's doing i don't like my board but what can you do this music is absolutely crazy mm, 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 mm. let's just do that i guess and uh, I, I'm trying to keep Dryads on my board just in case he comes down a little bit. So I can do a little bit of something something. Let's see what he does. Let's just start leveling up our Demon Hunter. Maybe that'll help out. He's got a rank 2. I've got a rank 2. I've also got all of my Knight Statues touching uh, my Demon Hunter, which is kind of funny. So let's see what hits first. I Notice how much attention I have to pay to this guy. Because he threw one card in his game. I'm so salty. I'm so salty. I'm so sorry. Nine seconds. I'm just going to do this. We should be absolutely fine. And maybe, just maybe, I'll level up my Demon Hunter also right before he gets here. Come on. Okay. Alright. So let's spam a little bit more again. See what's happening here. We've got a rank three. We've got a bunch of stuff. Let's try to gain a little bit of mana, see what comes down. Kind of the exa exact same thing we were talking about before. The one in four chance that we had of leveling up stuff with our Scrapper is the same idea as the um, having our full board. And then when he comes and shamans me, he's got a one in... Now he's got a one in, what, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. One in fifteen chance of hitting not my demon hunter so that's kind of the way that works let's do this let's do this uh i guess we'll do this and we'll do uh, we got two right now i don't really like that if he comes down i can just combine out all right we got a little guy over there that's fine let's go up here let's go here level that guy up level these guys up level our chemist up we should be in okay shape here I don't like how many Demon Hunters we have, which is literally just two, but I still don't like it, except now we have a rank five down there, and uh, maybe it'll be just better to fill our board again, because we've got a rank five already. His highest is a rank four. That's also really good, but uh, with a rank five, we should be able to hold on reasonably well and, uh, and continue on from here, so let's just max everything out. We got our gadget coming up. His board looks really, really good. Uh, a lot closer to what I would want to do. And notice how he's doing it. So he's got... Okay, so he had two rank fours. So they were both doing the maximum damage. Uh, he did end up eating one of them. So so uh, he only had the one doing the damage. But uh, I like what we're doing here. Let's just do this. Uh, a little dryad action. I might even just go here and here, honestly. And uh, we can do that. And that's perfectly fine. We got a rank three right there. We got another dryad action. Another dryad action. Let's do this. Another dryad action. Give me that, dude. Uh, I might even do that as well because 
If he comes down and hit that knight statue, it would be kind of unfortunate. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So we got to remember to keep a, at least a, a couple of dryads on our board just in case he comes down and hits this rank one knight statue because we, we've got to make sure that we've got two knight statues at all times. So let's just be aware we're playing a little bit uh, aggressive with mana. But I like what our board is doing. So he's actually killing things slightly slower than we are, which I'm not even 100% sure why but uh but i'll take it oh let's actually just do that because now they're both on those i'll do that i'll hit my gadget uh, maybe gadgets making the difference i might even just do this right now just to keep on leveling things up he's spamming a little bit i mean we're doing we got chemists that's why that's the reason why i couldn't figure it out for a second see if he just hits that yeah let's just do that come on it almost lagged a little bit let me know in the comments if you guys think that the uh the reaction to the, uh, the animation of Shaman either hitting something or us merging something away from a Shaman is a little bit slower nowadays because I feel like it is. You tell me what you think. Let's just do this. I'll get, uh, I guess we'll just do that for right now just to keep on protecting. We got that. Let's do one more and then I'm going to level up my, um, my chemist. So we've got rank fives all around the board. Our board looks really, really nice. But again... See, look how slow that animation was. That's not lagging on your screen. Well, it is, but it's lagging on your screen because it's lagging on my screen. It's kind of an interesting... I don't know why that animation changed, but I don't like it. Um, but we don't have a rank 1 scrapper right now, which is kind of unfortunate. He's now got a rank 6 and a rank 5, where we have two rank 5s, which two rank 5s is good. We've got double uh, Demon Hunters working hard for us, where he's only just got the 1. I still don't really know which I'd prefer. I think I might prefer the rank 6, but... Uh, it is what it is. He's just eating shamans at this point, which is great. But I'm building mana just for Tribunal. And he's actually got Gadget. Now he's got two rank sixes. He's got Gadget with... Oh, he got a hit there, dude. That's amazing for us. Uh, let's do uh, that. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Kind of unfortunate right there. I might even just go here... Uh, let's see if we can get a rank 6 somewhere. Uh, I'll do that and this, because why not? Maybe he'll rank something down and then rank that back up. We just need one more to rank up. That's really, really good for him. But I think we're on the same path right there. There's a rank 4, so we're actually going to be able to do this guy to rank 5. Which, again, you guys might think is a little bit bizarre. But I do that just in case... Um, one of them gets ranked down, then the other one's ranked higher. One more chance to get something higher. Let's do that. Chemist is what it is. This is why I think this is the best Demon Hunter deck. Because Chemist carries. Okay, I played this deck and I was a little bit more focused on, let's say, merging and ranking things up. So I had Harlequin Dryad in here with Scrapper. and It was super fun to play. And my board would look really, really good, but I'd still lose two Chemist decks you know I don't say GG's to Shaman players, although they're they're running rampant all over the place. I can't believe how many Shaman players I've been seeing with this Demon Hunter meta. I never really thought that that would work, but it really is. So guys, best thing I can tell you, rank one up first and then go from there. But guys, that's going to be the end of this YouTube video. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.